Hi, my name is Nano and I will show you how exports to formats like QDAS or Demis work and how to edit them. Many customized formats are available for download as add-ons already. Just click on install add-on in the software and then you can search for export to filter the available add-ons for export formats. This is a sample project with all kinds of inspections like distances, diameters or positions. To export the values, I select them in the Explorer and choose the export format I need under File, Export, Inspection. Another possibility is to define the inspections to export by creating report pages with them and choose the export by report pages. Typical export formats are DMIS and QDAS. The editing method I will show you works for other formats from the preferences too. Now let's have a look how we get from our inspections in the software to a text file in the desired format and defined output. So first, an XML file is created in the background. It contains information about deviations, the check property like diameter or the X position. Everything that's needed is contained in this file, but it has to be filtered and outputted in the correct format. We could also say transformed. To achieve this, an XSLT file is used. And XSLT stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language Transformations. It is a programming language designed to transform XML into another format. The file has instructions to look for certain values in the XML file and write them to the resulting file. The resulting file would be our DMIS file, for example. If we want to change what the output looks like in the DMIS file, the XSLT is the file to customize. Here's how to access the file. We copy the export template in the preferences to the user folder. Now the file can be edited in an add-on or you navigate to the files in the Windows Explorer and edit them with a tool you like. The file can be found in the folder export under your app data folder. I will use Notepad++, but every text editor will work. After your edits, store the file in this folder to see the effect in the software. The transformation file is split into several parts, for example, an elements and a helper file. It includes information on how to deal with special characters or numbers, for example. The file we want to edit depends on this file, so it will not work on its own. Let's have a look at some simple examples. Maybe you find a nice export format. But it is not possible to define the output by report pages. On the beginning of the XSLT file, we find a header section. The first line we should change is the name so we can identify the export format in the software. You can also find a short explanation inside the files, by the way. To make this export available for report pages, simply change the line with the report menu insert from no to yes. 
or add it all together if it should not exist in the file at all. The format is now available for export via report pages. Um, let's have a look at our output via the report pages. This is the output and um, now let's say just an ex example we want to swap both of these lines and maybe we are not interested in the K2004 field at all so we want it to delete. Um, so what we can do now we open the XSLT file First thing is giving it another name so we can identify it in the software. I will just call it customized. Um, and here are the instructions for the K fields. And in this example, I wanted to delete the K2004 number so I can just delete this line. And I will swap both of these out. Um, so I cut this line and insert it here. Have a look at the formatting. This looks nice. And the, um, this file is already stored in the correct folder. So if I press save here, it will immediately have an effect on the export. Let's do an export with this and then compare the um, export from before with the export after the changes I did right now. So I go to File, Export, Report, Inspection and QDAS. Um, here's already my customized report export. I will call it after customization, so I will identify it, press OK. This is the old file and now I will bring in my new file after the customization. If I can have a look now, K2002 is now before K2001, so that worked, and K2004 is not that there at all. I hope you got an idea on how to edit an export format. For more advanced edits, you may have a look at any documentation on the XSLT language and the tech guide, which is linked in the description below. And for more hacks and tutorials, check out our YouTube channel and the Training Center.